Hello and welcome to another What's in the Box? Jean is back and this is Jeanette. Hi. New people again. We're doing another Tokyo treat. I don't know what month it is for sure. I can tell you this was during the winter holiday season so it was shipped on November 28th and it arrived December 30th. <laughs> so it could be the December box. We'll find out. It is the December box. Ooh. Oh my. Should I come oh, for a book? Yeah. Oh, it's Christmas. Yeah. Aw, oh, so cute. Craig should have a hat. Do you want a hat? <laughs> no. Because I've got a hat. I don't want <laughs> a hat. Oh, there's a plushie in here. I can <gasps> see a feet. I can see feet. Uh, maybe okay. I should have the book so it so, doesn't spoil it for Jeanette. What's, yeah. Okay. Is there usually a book? There's no, always, there's always a book. It tells there's there's us what everything book. is. Yes, okay. everything's in here. But there's also all sorts of other information too. And it's yeah. neat, so it's a Japanese book, so it opens yeah. for us backwards. Oh, nice. December goodies. So we have, and this is the premium box? Yeah, so there's everything so there. there's everything. So, okay, what do you want to start okay, with? Okay, I'll start with these bag of caramel corn, Tohato caramel corn. Ooh. With a picture That's of a good. reindeer. Okay. Christmas edition white milk caramel corn. Mm. <laughs> Back again this month. So this is a limited edition variety. Um, and it's a new flavor of caramel corn. It gets its flavor enhancement with the help of heavy cream. Just in time <laughs> for Christmas. This time they come in a cute reindeer design package. Cute. Like the rest oh, of the box. Oh, they're like they're corn bars. Yeah, yeah. That is not what I expected. That's not I caramel like corn. Actual like the, corn, yeah. like popcorn. No, it's like puffed. It's like a Cheeto without the cheese. Oh my god. Those are good. Those are really good. That just melts in your mouth. <laughs> you know, it it reminds me of um like some sort of breakfast cereal, but I can't figure out. Like one. Well, mm, yeah. Puffs. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> not as corny as corn pops. So no, they're lighter and lighter. That's, it just melts in your mouth. Christmas edition Is chocolate it? umebo. Mm. Although usually chocolate associated, coated. yeah, although usually associated with savory oh, snacks, good. these colorful uh, umebo, am I saying that right? I think so. Are wildly popular. It is a redesigned package to get you into the holiday spirit. Ah, it so is festive. It is more chocolate deliciousness. Mm. It's that same melt away corn mm -hmm. puff, but with chocolate. So the, the corn puff melts away, but the chocolate mm -hmm. stays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is funny. Yeah, it's kind of an odd contrast. It is. Mm -hmm. Christmas edition okay, corn on. potage um umibo. It's the same. They come in a cute Christmas design. That's definitely the corn. <laughs> D smell. Definitely. It's like you would not wish to make that for anything but sweet corn when you wow. smell it. It's amazing that they can get that flavor and you don't have it over here. That smells the same. Is this got extra stuff added? Extra corn? I don't know. It smells like does corn it again. Same? It looks the same. This has like a seasoning on it. Like so does this one. Oh. Yeah. Maybe they're the, well, one way to find out. Yep. It does get two different flavors. Flavor A. Flavor A. That's corn. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's Buttered exactly corn. like corn. That's bizarre. Flavor B. Okay. I don't know which is which now. This is it. B. Less corny. I was gonna say, I think it's milder, but maybe it was just the impact of the first one <laughs> that I had was just so surprising. All the corn. It's yeah. milder. It's um. No, the second one was milder because I got it in reverse, and this one's stronger now. This okay. is more like um, almost a French onion, mm -hmm. like a sour cream and onion flavor. Mm-hmm. As opposed to the other one's very corn. I'm still so surprised that they get that amazing flavor. Ooh. Like a lot of the flavors they have over there, it's like, how come we don't have these flavors here? Yeah. They're obviously not illegal to do. Okay, I'm just going to get out of the way because it keeps staring at me. Oh, <laughs> it's adorable. There's not a, a word Mokiki. of English in here. Mokiki with chain ball. 
Cute no, alien Fred character. Is... This time he's bigger and better with big ball chain. <laughs> so you can carry it wherever you go. Which color Mokiki did you get? Oh, he's a cute he's alien. Cute. He's got a little corn dust corn on dust him. <laughs> but... Sorry. There. <laughs> he's so cute. That's adorable. Oh, he's got two different colored eyes. Oh, so that's cute. a nice touch. Spiker! <laughs> <laughs> Super refreshing cola flavored that will remind you of the actual drink. That would be nice. Compared to normal candies, they have a slightly powdery texture. Mm. I don't like the Oh, pot. yeah, that's I cold. love this. You like that? Yes. Those are, those are really good. Wow. Those are really good. But yeah, there, there's a chalky. At mm -hmm. Flamuni, they all work like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Those are good. Mm. That was nice. Mm -hmm. Meiji. Meiji. QB. High milk. High milk. Fairly new series by world-renowned chocolate maker. Uh, these milk chocolates are made for people on the go. Specially designed packet make it easy to fold and the bag and take it with you on the go. So you no longer have to finish it all at once. The chocolate <laughs> themselves also have a special coating which makes them less prone to melting in your hand. So Oops. <laughs> yeah, that's why I finish all my candy all at once. Because of the packaging. Because of the packaging. Yeah, yeah no other reason. That's why I eat it all. Mm, chocolate with wax. <laughs> So not a smarty. No, but oh, uh, our little it's diet chocolate because it takes longer to get through. It's chocolate. Chocolate, that's all it is. Do you see this? Do you see this? These, what are they? It's some sort of mollusk. <laughs> it's just a scallop. Oh god, they're scallop flavored. Non-fried rice crackers have sesame rolled into them to give them extra dimension to the already scrumptious flavor and texture. Scrumptious. Scrumptious. Right. Scrumptious. I expect nothing. Okay, they just smell like they just smell like burned sesame seeds. <laughs> that's so bad. They don't smell like a, a fish market that's seen better days. That's a very plain, typical cracker. It'll have the aftertaste of. I like this kind of cracker, so I like these. I haven't even got a I fish agree, it's not that special. You're not getting that fishy. No, not really at all. I'm not Rich. either. They just they're like they just take a lot like a lot of sesame things. Do they got that burnt? It's that burnt sesame them? flavor, yeah. But what's nice is that they don't. Sometimes with rice crackers, you get like a gumminess in your mouth. These are very these, puffed. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that. I've noticed for the most part the Japanese snacks are usually really light. Mm. They're just supposed to be snacks, not like us where we use them as like dinner. <laughs> Uh, cocoa flavor, uh, Choco B Ramune. Uh, his favorite snack makes an appearance in your box this month, but oh, look at that! Ramune candy style, individually wrapped, cute star shaped Aww. candies. Oh, look. they have vitamin D added. Oh, look. oh right. So they feel slightly. They're not all star shaped. That was a heart. Ooh, I got the heart. So they're slightly healthier than regular candies. <laughs> It, it actually kind of looks like a vitamin pill. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> it does. To get it out, that's what it looks like. It, it kind of, yeah, it looks like a vitamin pill. The characters on the wrapper, though. Apparently, they're hard. They're crunchy. Mm -hmm. Are you supposed to chew them or suck on them or? I don't know. I'm trying to. I don't think uh -huh. anything. Yeah, you, you gotta crunch it. Then you get that kind of chocolate. You know when they get. The oh. chocolate with liqueur in the middle, that really bad chocolate oh. they use for that, that's what it tastes like. Yep. I'm getting there now. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not. <laughs> we'll go with a no. So the franchise initially became famous for their orange juice and have since expanded the flavor lineup. This time they reveal these soft candies Thank that you. come oh. in different flavors. Oh, they're pretty. Um, Pastel. Ooh. They are very, they're pearly. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're regular shapes. Peach, orange, apple, and muscat grape. <sighs> they, they really get muscat grape right, unfortunately. Um, they get juicier with each bite. Which flavor is your favorite? That's the muscat grape green one. I'm getting to recognize that flavor. Mm. They remind me of Skittles, but bigger, similar, juicier. Mm. 
Your mascot has made an appearance. <laughs> they are very juicy. Orange, lemon. No. Green stars. The peach. The peach Purple is very green. strong. The peach is almost. Sim, the orange is the peach. No, the peach is the peach. <laughs> there should be an orange one. Yeah, this is orangish because the, the yellow one is the lemon, is it not? There's no lemon. No lemon. The peach tastes kind of like lemon, but there's no lemon. This is this is Kay. this is peach. Those are the yes, muscat grape. You go the back. grape is green. The peach, peach is the peach is peach. Uh huh. What's pink and other pink? Pink and watermelon. One of them. Apple and orange. Pink and off pink. Apple and orange. One is apple. One is orange. Try the grape. Just the orange. Yeah, it's me about the grape. Apple is good. Apple's good? Mm -hmm. Strawberry roll candy. Japan's answer to the popular American snack fruit roll ups. Mm. It is 50 centimeters in length, so there should be plenty to go around. Fruit by the foot? Looks it. Oh, it's very sticky. Mm. That's a fruit roll up. Mm -hmm. Cut your own Hank. <laughs> At the top, I gotta show you this. The top, just the way it formed, it looked like it has two eyes, so it's kinda like a BC staring at me. I dare you to eat me. I dare you. Oh that's I can smell it. It's very very strawberry. I don't how do you get it off the wrapper? It peels off, off really easily it actually. It's just hard to get started, but then it comes off easily and it's fairly soft and stretchy. That's really not, it's perfumey. No, mm. oh, it's mm -hmm. artificial. Mm -hmm. Not bad, it's just very in your face. It's in my face, I don't know if it's in your face. It's surprising. It's funny texture. Because usually their flavors, their, their fruit flavors are more close to the real thing. Mm -hmm. And that one did taste like a more artificial. Mm -hmm. Pocky? Pretz. Oh. It is the savory. Pretz. Herb. Tomato. Yeah, mm. it's the sa savory version of. Uh, thank you. It's a vegetable cracker. It's a vegetable cracker. Yep. Okay, they're not nearly as bad as I thought they were going to be. It is a little bit more tomatoey. It mm -hmm. tastes like tomato soup to me. Yeah, bit. It tastes like toast dipped in tomato soup. Yep, that's what it tastes like. Yep. Oh, I did share that. Oh, there it is. Wow, the tomato waited until I was oh. done the cracker to show up. Phoenix didn't like it. Did board, don't say anything. Let him take a look at the title on this. Cream oh. stew ramune. Cream stew? Stew. Pop. Cream stew. stew. Cream pop. stew ramune pop. Oh boy. I have no idea what to expect. Let's just say it's it, it. The description ends with, "Are you brave enough to give oh. it a taste?" <laughs> yeah, I'm brave enough. This, it has the, does this have the ball in it? Yes, it does. So it is a savory off. soda. Savory soda. Savory and soda are not words that should go together. Ooh. Oh, that's exciting. Uh oh. You did it. Yeah, I have, the, this one's only plastic. I have a glass one in my car that I kept because it was the first one I ever got. Japanese do a lot of that. There's a glass bead up there and you have to push that right. down to open it. <laughs> yeah, this is the time when like, I really regret, I made the rule if you gotta try everything. Because <laughs> this sounds like I don't See, want now it. I'm, I'm glad we, I brought the small glass of it. <laughs> yes, um, good call. Is this like they misunderstood what a cream soda was? So they just, uh, Cream stew, they say soda. soda. Don't know. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. I'm by. Oh. Twink. Oh. <laughs> it tastes like milky water. It's just yeah. <laughs> it's just like. That's crazy. I'm having turkey dinner, but I'm drinking it for some reason. <laughs> and it's fizzy. And it's carbonated. 
With a hint of orange <laughs> on the bottom. You know what? I don't need it. I don't either. It's not. It, it sounded horrible. The picture looks like. Are you kidding me? If you've ever watered down milk, that's kind of what I'm getting. I'm getting mashed potato. It's kind of. it's a Willy Wonka thing. Everybody's getting a different oh flavor of it. Okay, think of something. Think of steak and then try it. <laughs> nope. <That> worked. <laughs> it's Christmas fugashi. Fugashi, okay, I don't know what that word means yet. Fugashi is a traditional Japanese dagashi snack. That tells me a lot. It's perfect, it's perfect for Jeanette. It's made from gluten. Oh, yay. <laughs> it is a bar of gluten. Oh, my God. They're <laughs> <laughs> mm. like, this is gluten-free. That's what they do with all the leftover That's it, gluten. right there. It looks kind of like a dog treat. It is perfectly light and airy. It is very light and airy. Yeah, he's okay, okay. Part of it. Soaked in a luscious coat of brown sugar. <laughs> oh, good. Luscious coat of brown sugar for you. It's okay, a coat of brown you. sugar so that you can stomach the gluten. <laughs> what? It just melts away. Glad the brown sugar's there to yeah. cover up the hay. <laughs> Yeah, that tastes like a the loft of a barn smells. Oh my god. It, it, I yeah, was okay until you said that and now It's just I, hay. I can't. It's like oh, a really bad rice cracker without an, it's it's a rice cracker without the texture of a rice cracker. So mm -hmm. if you could make a rice cracker worse <laughs> that would be it. It's not the winner. <laughs> I mean sugar makes everything better, so the nope. coating is good, but <laughs> Oh, okay. it's good, yes. Yeah, sugar was excellent. <laughs> I love the sugar. Is, there, is it good for you? Is it a healthy yes. snack? Well, it's, it's No, but gluten-free so. is supposed to be the healthy <laughs> gluten. Wasn't that sugar-covered hay? It pretty much, that's what it tasted that's like. That's exactly what it tasted so, like. It's choco, it's choco corn. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> it's very choco. It's another, it's another corn puff snack. Oh, they're huge. Yes, they are. The, they're and they're very chocolate. Let's smell the chocolate soaked. on them. They're soaked in chocolate. Okay. Um, and it's, again, in cute Christmas packaging. That's not terrible. Yeah, I like chocolate it. Chocolate Rice Krispie Squares? Yes. Again, it's not quite as sweet. No, without it's the marshmallow. I feel like I've tasted this before, but I can't put my finger on it. They're not at all sweet. They're actually almost flavorless. If you stop eating them for a second, there's no taste there. <laughs> yeah. These bite-sized cookies are perfect to take with you on the go. Enjoy the crumbly texture with the mini chocolate chips loaded into each cookie. They are just it's okay. it's it's their it's the Western version. They actually call this the it's a, an American chocolate chip. <coughs> Remember McDonald's used to give out little packets mm -hmm. of. I've mm. No, because oh. they got their spice mm. in this. You a nutmeg or yeah. something. Yep, nutmeg. Yes, it does. I yeah. didn't taste that at first. That's nice. You've lived that extra there. Yeah.